Hey guys, um, today I'm going to talk to you about piercings and the different kinds. I have 11 piercings. I had 12. I used to have my belly button pierced, but they got infected. Um, I have one up here, two here, and then three. And over here, I have my industrial bar, and then three at a Monroe. Um, I'm going to talk about the industrial bar first. That was the most painful piercing I've ever gotten. It doesn't hurt right after you get it, but it does get really sore. And I tried to sleep on it, but I just couldn't. Um, I got it pierced in February. I think it was January. I think it was January 13th. Um, it healed fine. I did get a few keloids on there, and that hurt. I'm trying to take them off, but I wasn't supposed to. Um, I'm gonna show you my different industrial bars that I bought, and I will um, write where I got them from. So, um, so I have this. It is a white arrow with the skull. Um, this one is really easy to put in. Well, I thought it was. Here, can I put it again? I focus it so I see it better. Uh, not. Yeah, it's a skull. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. Um, I have this black one. Yeah, they sent me the wrong one, but I haven't called them yet to get the new one. I have this one. This one's kind of tricky to put in. It's too small for my ear. And then the one that I am oh, I mean, currently wearing is just a regular bar with dice at the end, which I purchased from them too. Um, I also got these horseshoes from them. Um, I bought this online too. The pink number eight. It's too small, so it doesn't fit. Um, and I just have a plain one. This is the one I got pierced with. Um, and then I got this one also. It is purple candy stripes. And they have like uh, three little ridges in the middle. That one's kind of hard to put in. Um, first of all, when you get it pierced, make sure you have a high pain tolerance because if you don't, you will cry. Like, it will hurt really bad. Ugh. Um, I did have a video, but my everything on my iPod got wiped out when I reset it. So, it, but I'm, it does hurt. Um, a few care options that you could do. I wouldn't use I wouldn't use like salt that you put on your food. Buy um, go buy uh, H2 Ocean Spray. It works really good, and it makes stuff heal faster. That's what I used. Um, don't change it for four to six months, because if you change it too early, you can get infections, which you don't want, because it hurts really bad getting infections on your ear. Um, Alright. Then my cartilage that I have pierced. These two were done at home. That was done with just a regular uh, sewing needle. This one I got professionally done, and all these I got professionally done. Lobes are pretty easy to heal. All you got to do is clean them with um, a solution that the piercer gives you, or uh, wherever you get it pierced, like at Claire's or something. And then um, cartilage, it does take a while to heal. Mine healed within five months which was really good because usually they say it takes up to a year. I can leave mine out and it won't close up. Next, um, Monroe. That, 
everybody says it's supposed to be the, so, the most painful lip piercing you can get because of where it's at and, um, like, just pretty much the location of where it's at. So, when I got mine done, it didn't hurt. It feels like if you were to get your wrist and just squeeze the middle, that's pretty much what it feels like. It's pressure. It doesn't hurt. Um, I wouldn't re recommend it for people who are new to getting piercings because of after you get it pierced, you can get sick to your stomach and you will, you can get lightheaded and pass out and everything. So I recommend waiting until after you get a few more piercings. Um, right now I have just a regular ball. 16 gauge is what they pierced it at. I did gauge mine to 14 because I thought they had cuter jewelry. Like, um, I had this. It's a cute little stud. Blue stud. That's what that looks like. And then a flat back. Also, if you do get lip piercings anywhere, after a while, if it sits on your gums, it can erode your gums away. So, if you don't want that to happen, then I wouldn't get that because it can happen. Also, if your job doesn't allow them, I wouldn't get them. They do make retainers. Um, I don't think I have one. Yeah, I do. Retainers, of course. Um, I have one retainer, and I use that for school because I'm still in high school. Uh, you can barely see it, but it's just clear. You just put it in there to hold it. I don't have to do that anymore because mine's been healed since February. Um, care options and tips. You can either use a solution that your piercer gives you. Um, after you eat, you must wash your mouth with mouthwash. If I, I advise you not to get the ones with, um, with alcohol in it because that'll irritate it sometimes. Like um, Listerine. I used Listerine. It was really good to use. Didn't have alcohol. Um, it, I would carry it around in a little bottle, just like a little plastic bottle. Um, H2 Ocean Spray is really good to use on the outside. It'll heal fast. Your lip, if you get them in a row, it will swell pretty big. My lip was big and puffed. It did not look all that great. And then next, um, I had I had my nose pierced on the same side as my Monroe, but that fell out a week after I got it. And the worst idea ever is to try and shove it back in there. Bad idea, especially if it's the L-shaped ones. That is not a good idea. Um, I used H2 Ocean Spray on that. I cleaned it. You have to be careful when you clean it because you can rip it out on accident. And when you sleep at night, you need to put a, a like a little circle band-aid over it. Um, if you don't, then it'll fall out. That's what happened to me. I, did, I forgot to put a circle band-aid over it and it fell out. Um, they don't hurt to get pierced. It feels like a pinch. Your eyes water and it's over. It doesn't hurt after, it's not sore, it's not red, it most likely won't get infected, mine didn't. Um, and last, belly button piercings. I had it in mine for four months, and for some reason, it, mine was sinking in a lot, like it would sink, the ball would sink into my skin. And I didn't know what it was until I found out it was migrating to get comfortable in a, in the place and it started getting infected so I had to take it out but um they do get infected easily use H Ocean spray um well that's pretty much it um thanks for watching bye also